saying about last night. OK, there's no question that Donald Trump is paying very close attention to what is happening at the Democratic National Convention this week. Of course, this entire week where he is hitting all these battleground states, the counter programming blitz is supposed to be focused on policy. Every single day he has been tasked with a different issue he's supposed to discuss during those speeches, which are in smaller venues, smaller crowds, really designed to keep him focused on message. However, yesterday he was in North Carolina and it was a speech billed as a, a national security security speech, which he did talk about. There were some elements of national security in it, but then he went on rants about the Obamas and the speeches that they gave. And then, of course, this morning, we heard Donald Trump. He did an interview with Fox and Friends where he railed against how how many of the speakers are using their time to attack Donald Trump. He says they're going they're talking way more about him than they are about policy. And he also uh, discussed their critiques of Project 2025. Take a listen. I have nothing to do with it. I had no idea what it was. A group of people got together. They drew up some conservative values, very conservative values. And in some case, uh, perhaps they went over the line. Perhaps they didn't. I have no idea what Project 25 is. Okay, so a few things there. One is that uh, we have some reporting, and, and Caitlin Collins uh, has some of this as well, which is that this line of attack about Project 2025 is really getting under the former president's skin. And also, uh, really frustrating that of his campaign. They have sought for months to distance themselves from this project, even though we know that many of Donald Trump's top allies and even people who are advising his current campaign are involved in drafting that actual blueprint for a transition. And so um, this is something that is really bothering Trump. I wouldn't be surprised if you continue to hear him talk about this, not only today, but also tomorrow when he visits Las Vegas and Arizona again. Great point. Elena, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So at tonight's Democratic Convention, another effort to show the power of working across the aisle.